Middle Workplace Organization Structure Organization structure allows you to set different permissions for users reflecting the company structure, create multiple position or department frameworks, view reporting lines, and assign jobs to users, and manually assign managers to users. Here, the workplace admin toggles the workplace launcher to navigate to organization structure. Departments. From departments, we can access current department frameworks and clicking plus new framework allows you to create a new framework. And note that you can create multiple position or department frameworks, each one representing a different point of view of the organization. From new department, you can create a hierarchy tree of departments reflecting the company structure. Positions. From positions, we can access current position frameworks and the new framework button allows you to create a new framework. As with departments, by clicking new position, you can create a hierarchy tree of positions reflecting the company structure and these positions can have specific permissions relating to allocating team members, sending notifications and viewing reports. Positions are structured in the same way as departments but have two additional properties called manager and department lead. These are effectively permissions that are tied to their respective positions. Manager is the manager of anyone in a lower position, regardless of their department. Don't confuse this with Moodle LMS manager role. The department lead is the manager of anyone in the same department or sub-department, regardless of their position. People. Once departments and positions have been created, it's time to go to the People tab to connect a department and position to users. We click New Job to select one or multiple users, assign them a position and a department, as well as their start and end date. We can manage a user's job and reporting lines from the Action menu View Jobs and Reporting Lines option. There are three areas, each with their own button. Jobs assigned, that's current and previous jobs. Reports to, this is who the user reports to and includes managers, department leads and manually assigned managers. And note that when manually assigning managers, admins can specify the permissions for this manager. People reporting to, this is staff reporting to the user the information here is also available from the user's profile depending on permissions. Here, for example, our administrator can see both the jobs and the reports to block. Other employees would only see the reports to block. From the People tab, you can see all users and jobs that have been assigned to them. A useful filter allows you to fine-tune the list by full name, department, position, whether the user is a manager, to show people with assigned jobs only, or simply show only users with an assigned manager, and then to perform bulk actions. Bulk actions are very useful for HR managers, allowing them to easily add, end, transfer jobs in bulk, or create ad hoc teams assigning a manager to a group of people manually. To summarise, organisation structure allows you to set different permissions for users, create multiple position or department frameworks, view reporting lines, assign jobs and manually assign managers to users.